Hi, I'm Skyler. If you'd like to edit a file using Vim on your iPad, first just download it from the App Store. But I have a feeling that if you're asking this question, you already knew that. So let's take a look at it. Vim on iPad has one limitation. It can only modify content that's stored in the home directory of your iPad. So if you're hoping to get in there and modify files that are actually in the root system of the iPad, it's not going to work that way. But you can use it to edit text files and to do some small modicum of hacking. So we'll take a look at Vim. This is the interface here. It looks pretty familiar for anybody who has worked in Vim before. So I'm just going to bring up the keyboard by tapping and call up the help file. Like so. There we go. Help. I can hide the keyboard. There we are. And I can navigate using the keys here. J is down, K is up, H is left, and L is right. So that gives you some basic navigational ability to figure out how to use Vim on iPad. And it's really the same thing as it is on a computer. So if you're new to Vim, I would probably recommend using a computer to learn it because one of the limitations of the iPad keyboard is that there are keys missing that Vim uses quite often, such as escape, alt, command, control, things of that nature. So since escape is a very commonly used key, and for example, on iPad it's been mapped to the backslash, so you have to go two screens deep in order to just tap the escape key, it may not be the best environment for somebody who's new to Vim to learn it. But if you do know how to use Vim, it's a very faithful reproduction of it. I mean, it is Vim, and people love it. So it's one way that you can do what you want to. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.